Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Today we're going to draw Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III from How to Train Your Dragon 2. In this movie, he is considerably older than the first one, and so he looks more mature, and we're going to have to try to make those features match. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start off by drawing his chin. So I'm going to come down around the side of his face, coming out just a bit, and then down towards the chin, which has a fairly square jaw, and up on the other side. So we're going to see, on this side, we'll see his ear a little bit, but it's mostly going to be underneath his hair. And we're going to see this ear also a little bit, again, mostly under his hair. And now I'm going to show where his nose will be, and it's going to be in the same general area as the ear. It's going to come down from the side like this. This is the brow of his eye, and then coming down in front, and then his nose, which we're just going to indicate with some very faint uh, nose markings. So we'll draw a line on this side, and then we've got the nostril, and then we'll start to show the ball of his nose, the top, and the other nostril, and then just the hint of the other side of his nose. But really the way we see this nose is more through the shadows. Okay, and so now we can draw his mouth, and he's just got a very thin mouth, so it's going to come down like this, and then up, maybe not that far, shorten that up a little. And it's turned up just a tiny bit at the end, but we'll draw the cheek line here, and pointing down, and then just a little notch for his chin. All right, so now his eyes, he's got very heavy eyebrows, and here's one eyebrow. It's going to come across like this and extend beyond this eye line, this nose line. And again, the other part of the eyebrow underneath, so we'll be shading this in heavily when we're finished. And same thing on the other side, and he's looking a little bit proud of himself, so his eyebrow is going to come up just a little bit, arching over his eye. And again, it's fairly thick trailing off here. So we'll fix these lines a little bit as we go, but that looks good for now. So now this line that we drew for his nose is going to continue over pretty much straight, right to here and over. And his eye will be hooded a little bit inside this area. So we're going to put our pencil part way in and draw the edge shape of his eye coming down here, and then the underneath. So this is the edge of his eye, and then coming in from here, we're going to make an eye shape that's going to come right over into the nose. So here we go, under and in. And then we'll draw his eyeball. So we're going to curve here and draw the dark pupil. And this will be colored in. And it's always nice to give your characters a little bit of um, sparkle in their eye. So I'll just put a little circle here that we'll leave uncolored. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to start off with uh, this top line here, but it doesn't quite reach the bridge of his nose because the angle his face is on. So we're just going to draw a line that's like the top of his eye socket. And then underneath, we're going to draw the top of his eye, which is like the same shape, only going to curve down. And then underneath, we'll draw the actual eye. So here, we're just going to bring it in and down and it will meet up here. Good. And then the inside of his eye, curving in like this. And again, black centers. It's important to get these lined up right, or else your character might end up looking cross-eyed. That's happened to me before. And again, we'll have a little reflection in his eye. Okay, so pretty happy with this so far, and now I'm just going to clean up the shape of his face a little bit. So we're just going to come down here and bring his chin so that it's a little bit more rounded at the bottom. I think I'll like that better. A little more square, I guess, is what I've done. And I'll just erase this inside line. All right, so now it's time to craft his hair. He's got great hair, and it's really um, it's really bushy, and it comes across his face quite a bit. So we're just going to bring it across his eyebrows in many places, like this. 
and then we're going to show how it's coming around his face, oh, but not that far. So let's just fix that a little bit right away. It's the great thing about using pencils. You can always fix your mistakes. So I want this one to end more around here. And a little further than that. And again, some more messy hair here. And I think I've drawn him right off the page. So you maybe could place yours a little bit better when you're drawing him. But again, just some more wisps of hair. And then this is his ear on the side. And we won't be able to see it through all of this hair, so we'll just clean that line up right now. And then same thing down here, just more wisps of hair coming down around the side of his face. And over here, same thing, just wisps of hair coming down around, sticking out in a really messy way. I don't think pirates really had very good hairdressers back in those days. They all sort of ended up with a mess for their hair. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the shape of this, and so now I'm just gonna show where his clothing will be. So he's got a collar here. It's going to come down below his face, and then it's gonna meet in two places here and come back up on the other side and down. So this is the collar, and he's wearing a strap across his chest. It's gonna go this way. like this and it's got some buckles holding it on some buttons like this and then a nice shoulder coming up this way and down and we'll see some other panels of his armor here so one coming up this way for his chest and the same oh I think there's a buckle here let's do that next so here we have like the buckle showing inside the leather. Yeah, that's it. And outside. So here's the inside. And then we'll draw the bottom of this strap here. So the way this buckle works is we can see the edges of the buckle. And it's attached to this leather section. So we don't see this is like a chain. We, just, we see the edges of the chain link, but we don't see the inside because it's inside the leather bit. And then again here, we've got some sort of motif. Okay, so now shoulder plate. It's going to come up like this and then down, sort of triangular. And we'll just show some depth here. And then, you know, it's been damaged because he's a Viking, so it's been stitched together here. I'll just draw some X's to show the stitch marks. And over on this side, we'll have the rest of his armor plate coming together here at a point at the bottom. All right, so this is all my pencil lines for Hiccup, and now I'm ready to go over this with some black marker, and I'll do this in time lapse. Alright, so I finished all of my mm, fine line markers, so now I'm going to erase all of my pencil sketches that remain, and I'm going to color him in.
Alright, so that's the end of my video today. This is how I draw Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon 2. And I would love it if you would comment on this video and you could like it if you liked watching it. And if you're new here and you'd like to see more Doodle Draw art, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.